Hello, hello everyone. Today is card making week in my planner. <laughs> and so before I dive into card making this week, I need to inventory and put away these new purchases that I have um, because they're just sitting on my card making desk and they're in the way and I always do this anyway during card making week so i accumulate my happy mail and i get all my happy mail and then um i go ahead and i organize them before i start creating so i put them into my system but if you're like me and you have a lot of stamps and dies and stencils and embossing folders um then it's it's i think it's really important to keep them organized so you know what you have and so when it comes time to create you can use um, an inventory system to find exactly what you need instead of having to flip through your entire inventory which for me would be impossible so um i'm going to go ahead and bring you along with this um what i typically do is i put them in order um by maker and start with that and I'll take you along the whole thing. So here's the Sweet Stamp Shop. Okay, this is a generic one from Amazon. I'll put that aside. Catherine Puller, um, Tailored Expressions, and then Lawn Fawn. Okay, and then Concord and Knight from Concord and Ninth. And then this is also Lawn Fawn. And then this is Tailored Expressions, or Clear, I'm sorry, yeah, Tailored Expressions. And then this is also tailored expression, so all of this can go together. Okay, so I'll just put it aside. And then this is Concord and Ninth, which has only two. Catherine Puller only has one. This is only one. And so I kind of also put them in order by how many they have. I don't know why. I mean, you don't have to do this part. So let's see. This, 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 and then this. Okay, so these are just one one offs. All right, so I'll start with those. And what I do is I get out my Brother P Touch labeler. And actually, I was doing something for my my husband with that. So I'm going to go ahead and clear um, the text and the format. Okay, and then back here, um, this is my labeling style for my um, dies and my stamps. So it's large Helensky. And I put that there so I can remember. <laughs> And then this is how I organize my craft bins and so on and so forth. So large Helensky. So I'm going to go ahead and go to font and say, okay, Helensky, perfect. Okay, and then I need to go to font size and large. Oh, already there. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, I think that's good. So now what I do is I organize um, my stamps by subject first. So for example, I'm looking over to my right where I have my stamps and dies and I have alphabets, backgrounds, birthdays, decorative. I'm skipping some because they're in the back and I, I'm not pulling them out. Um, happy mail, sentiments, shapes, you know, things like that. So they're organized by a subject category first. And then within that category, they're organized by maker. And then, um, actually, that's it. It doesn't go in alphabetical order after the maker. Okay, so I'm going to put Catherine Puller here. Okay, and then I'm going to enter for a second row. And then this one is called Put a Pin in It. And it happens to be a planner one. So I'm going to print this. And then cut. All right. And then I gotta grab some scissors. Okay. So then, oh, I need to change something here. Okay. I need to change how much the margin is. Okay. So I don't waste a whole bunch of tape. So anyway, um, I trim that down. And then I have some envelopes, some stamp storage envelopes from Avery L. I buy these on Amazon and I'll go ahead and I'll link them below. So, and then I pre-cut a piece of cardstock that I put in here. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab one of these and then this is gonna go on the upper right corner. Okay. Okay, just like that. And then I'll go ahead and take this out. And the packaging goes in the trash, unfortunately. And then this just goes in here. 
and there it's um, this is ready to be inventoried now so this is the way I put away my stamps and dies they all go in this envelope there are some that are larger and don't fit like slimline um, stamps and dies and those are go into a larger envelope and I don't think I'll need any for this um, week's organization but um, most of them fit in this okay so there's that and then this one is from um, Amazon but it is KS craft which is the brand and I buy a lot from them because they're nice and expen inexpensive okay so let's see let me go label length okay here we go okay so auto I think I have to choose narrow no okay so let's see label length margin there it is okay it says full and I want it narrow okay perfect so now um, I'm gonna type in KS craft uh, and then this is oops sorry need to delete all this okay as craft and this is their exo shaker okay all right okay so these are dies and because there are multiple dies it's just not like one background dye for example i'm going to need an envelope with a magnet so here's a magnet sheet. I use the Totally Tiffany uh, magnetic die storage sheets. You can buy these, I believe, on scrapbook.com or you can buy them directly from Totally Tiffany. So these are the ones that I use. They're the only ones that I've seen that are white instead of black. And um, I prefer that because my craft room has a lot of white in it. So, um, but it's just a, a personal preference. So what I'll do is I'll grab another one of these. Um, I actually need my tape roller. Hold on just a second. So what I do is I take out this um, cardboard insert um, or cardstock insert and then I put some tape runner here just like that and then to line it up I just um, tap them both so that they're lined up on the bottom and then I go like that and this is not very straight but it's okay it's perfectly fine okay and then um, I take these out of here these on here and you know when I first started collecting dies I would um, take them apart you know clip them all apart and stuff be, uh, as I put them away but um, I don't do that anymore I've gotten a little lazy in that department and I just I'll take them apart when I use them for the first time but um, so there's that isn't that adorable and then I will put this in here Okay, and then I'll do the next one. So the next one, since there's, this is two of them, actually these go together, so this is just gonna go in one pocket. It's gonna have magnetic because this has multiple dies that go with it. So we'll go ahead and do that. And actually this one will not fit in here. This is when I need one of the larger ones, as you can see. So let me show you that. And these larger envelopes are also um, Avriel. They look like this, and again, I put a um, insert in there and then when I do the magnet for this I use the same um, totally Tiffany magnets I need to open another pack okay. and then what I'll do I just have a couple and I'll put it like this okay so then I'll put tape runner on here. And then I'm just gonna place this right here. Okay. Like that. 
And then the dies will go on here. These are the matching Petite Pals dies. It kind of stinks that I have to have all this packaging, you know, because it's such a waste. And I do make shaker cards, but these envelopes are just too um, thin for my liking, so I don't reuse them. Okay, so these are going to go on here. I love when companies have their dies cut apart already. <laughs> love that. Okay. So there are the dies. And then the stamp set. Look how cute. So cute. Okay, so i got to keep that because I need to type the label for it. And this is going to go in here. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and shift backspace for clear, and I'm gonna clear only the text. And this is Concord, oops, and Ninth. And then this is Petite Pals. Okay, I'm gonna print that. I don't need this anymore. All right. Okay. That on there, and then I'll move on to the next one. So when I have multiples like this, um, I like to save space and I'll put two in one pocket and put two labels. Um, but it looks like, so this is Christmas, so this is definitely going to have to go on its own because it'll get filed um, in a Christmas section. Um, okay, so that's going to be on its own. This won't fit together. Okay, so let's see. I think I'm going to have to put these all separate because they're not, like, related. If these two were related, then I would go ahead and package them together. Um, but they're not, so I'm going to go ahead and separate them. Okay, so all these are going to be individual. So now the beauty of putting them in order, there's a couple reasons why I put them in order by maker. And that is because once I type in the sweet stamp shop here, I won't have to type it in each time. Okay, I'll just change the um, stamp name on the second line. Okay, so this one's called December Icons. And then we have um, Thankful Bunny. Okay, so I'm just clearing the second line because I still need the first one that says a sweet stamp shop. Okay, thank you. Okay, now for this one, um, I'm starting my Lawn Fawn, and I went ahead and went into uh, my category shapes. I grabbed this. I'm going to go ahead and add this to it. So I wanted to make sure, um, because this is just really small, and so I don't want to bulk up my storage, and so I'm just going to go ahead and add this down here.
Okay, now for this die, um, because it's a die plate and it's just one piece, I go ahead and I don't put a magnet in here because I don't need a magnet to keep it together. So um, I just drop it in here like this. It cuts all these frames in one run, one pass. A whole bunch of frames. I used some of them on a card. But um, it's just amazing because it will just cut all of these at one time. So let me show you where I used it. I used it here um, on the outside. So I just picked one um, that I thought fit nice and I just glued it down. And so now I have all of these. Um, and so what I do when I have something like this is I store it with the die. That way, if I ever bring out this die, if I look in the back, um, I may have something I could use and I don't have to run it through again. But anyway, so as I do this, I have a feeling this envelope is going to get pretty big because I'm liking the die and it cuts a whole bunch of them, which you probably can't use at one time. So I'm just going to stick them back there and they will live there um, for when I pull this out. I have them in order by maker and they're all ready um, to be put into my inventory system. So that's next. Oh, I wanted to mention for stencils, um, I keep them in their original packaging. I usually just cut off this top like this so that I can pull the stencil out. So I have the name already on here and then this is a really large one. This is awesome by the way. Um, so I just cut that off like that, that way I can access them like this. And then um, all my stencils go into a pouch. And I don't know if this big one's gonna fit in it, but this is the pouch um, that I have for stencils. So it doesn't go into a bin just because all of these are just a whole bunch of different random sizes. Um, oh, I can't put them away yet because I have to inventory these, but I just wanted you to see I don't necessarily label them. Um, I do label my embossing folders, but I don't have any to inventory today, so I won't show you that. But um, I just wanted to show you this part, and then we're gonna go to my <gasps> iPad. Okay, so I just realized that I accidentally deleted the video um, that I created of me entering everything into my um, inventory database. So, I am here for round two, <laughs> for try number two. Um, I can't believe I did that, but that's okay. I mean, I permanently deleted it. I deleted it and then deleted it. <laughs> okay. So anyways, now that all of my stamps and dies that are new are labeled and um, packaged for storage in my craft room, um, now I'm ready to enter them into a database that keeps track of them and helps me find what I'm looking for much, much easier. So I use an app called Color My Life. But before I get into that, I want to show you what I do before that. So um, so I put away all the stamps that are now all filed away. <laughs> Everything that you saw me label is all put away. So I am just going to grab... Um, let me see. What am I going to grab? Uh, I'm going to grab some lawn fawn stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to, let's see. Okay, so you can't see what I'm grabbing because I'm doing a screen recording, but I'm going to show you um, how I do and what I do. So, okay, so I have a stack of stamps in front of me right now. Um, they're lawn fawn. I have Dandy Day, You Are Sublime, Hello Sunshine, Butterfly Kisses, and Scooting By. Okay, so I have these here, so let's pretend that I just bought these, and I packaged them for storage in my craft room, and I've used my P-Touch labeler to add a label to the upper left-hand corner. Okay, so now what I do is, before I put them away, they're not quite ready, they're not um, done with my process yet, so I can't put them away, um, and what I do is I go to the internet, and I search, for example, lawn fawn 
sorry, I'm waiting for my keyboard to, okay, there we go. Lawn Fawn um, Dandy Day. So I go there and then I click on images because I just want to see the images of this particular stamp set. And what I do is I look for the product image. So here it is right here on the right. That is the product image. So I'm going to click on, I'm going to hold it down with my finger. I'm on my iPad and hold it down and say, add to photos. Okay. So that's the product picture. So now when I'm looking through here on the left-hand side, I see a whole bunch of beautiful inspiration. So um, now if I, if at the time when I bought these uh, stamps, if I bought the matching dies, then I will also copy this product page that shows, um, oh, I hate when this does this, sorry. Um, I'll also add that to my photos because it shows um, what I outlines the dies are. Okay, so then I'll go through and I will collect all the inspiration that I'm a fan of. So I'm going to add that to photos. Um, I'm going to add this to photos. I'm going to add this to photos. And I just create a collection of all these beautiful cards that people have made using this particular stamp um, and die set or stamp or die set, whatever it is. So I go through and I just go like this and I do it really fast. I'm really used to it now. So I'm just like, boom, 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 boom. Okay. So I do that and then I go to the next one. And so it's Lawn Fawn. So I just have to clear out the stamp name that I had originally. And I put You Are Sublime. That's the next one I want to inventory. So this is just the part where I'm gathering photos. Okay. I'm putting them into my camera roll here on my iPad. And I don't know why it's taking so long. Okay, so uh, let's see. So I don't go to, see these ads right here? It says ads, shop, lawn farm. I, I don't click on any of those because it'll take me to a website to purchase it. I just scroll down a little bit further and sure enough, here's the product um, image. And it's so weird that it's so slow because it hasn't been like this all day. So, okay. Sorry about that. But anyway, so there's that. And I'm going to go ahead and, oh, sorry, I don't know why it's been doing that. It's like it wants to do, it wants to read the text or something. Okay. Add to photos. And then I'll go ahead after the product image, I'll go ahead and I will also save um, to my photos a whole bunch of inspiration. And if it's something that I'm really not a fan of, I don't bother saving it. But the majority of, time, majority of the time with Lawn Fawn, you can't go wrong. There's like so much good inspiration. You just want it all. And I will, I, I mean, I will put up to 20 photos if they're available. I want as much inspiration as I can get. Um, but for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm not going to save um, everything. I'm just going to save a couple of things so I can show you how I do this process. And then I'll go to the next one. And it's called Hello Sunshine. Okay, so... Let's pretend I did that and I saved um, a whole bunch of photos and I'll go through everything that's brand new that I just packaged, uh, repackaged for storage and I'll go through and I'll fill up my camera roll with everything that I need to enter into my inventory app. Okay. So then once I have all those photos and there could be, um, you know, 60, 70 sometimes, you know. So once I do that, I go here to color my life. It's an incredible app. I have um, another video on my channel um, that goes into this as well, but I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate it for you here again. So I go in here to my app, and this has um, my entire stamp, die, embossing folder, and stencil collection. So if I go down here to the lower right to settings, and I go to about, I have 1,054 individual items in here that I have inventoried, um, which is a lot of, a lot. I mean, I have a lot of inventory of stamps and dies. So um, I just keep up with it. You know, every time I get new ones, I do not file them away. I just um, start a little stack on my card making desk. And um, when it's time for card making week, I file them, put them away, and then I get to crafting. Um, so the way I do this is um, there's a plus button here in the lower right hand corner. So I'll click that and I'm going to add an item. I'm not going to create a set. I'm going to add an item. And then in the lower right hand corner where it has the camera icon, I'm going to click that 
it'll go to my camera roll and you'll see here is all the information that I saved to my photos. Um, here's the first one, Dandy Day. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that product photo is the first one that I always select because I want the main thumbnail in my inventory to be the product, the um, product photo. And then I'll go ahead and select all the inspiration that I saved, okay, and say done. And you'll see here, it has the product photo, photo first and then all the inspiration that I saved, you can see there. So then I'm gonna go ahead and name the item and it's called Dandy Day. Oops. Okay, and then the category, I have the stamp and die set. So I'm gonna select that, I'm gonna say save. And then the tags, what I do is I look, I look at the physical item, I have it right here on my desk. And I look at all the stamp set and I add tags for all the things that I see. So I see a mouse, <laughs> mice, I see dandelions, uh, oops, okay, I see dandelion, I see um, daisies, okay, and we'll also call them flowers, we'll tag that. And then I see some leaf um, stamps. And then I see, um, now for the sentiments that I see, I see wishes, um, happy day, uh, okay, uh, friend, dandy, dreams, um, mom and dad. There's a, for some reason it says mom and dad. And then um, that's all I see on this particular stamp set. And then one thing that I also put in here, if it's something that I can color with Copic markers, it's a coloring a stamp. So it's not like a solid image or just a word or something like that. This actually has these little mice critters on it. Let's see if you can see it. No, you can't see it because I have it blocked. <laughs> um, but I also put Copic friendly. That way, if I ever feel like I'm in the mood to Copic color some stamp sets, I can search by Copic friendly and all the ones that are Copic friendly that have coloring items will come up. Okay. And then item is stored here. That's really important. This particular stamp um, and the ones that I grabbed are under a category that I call critters. Okay. So, so I'm going to go ahead and select critters and then the manufacturers lawn form. Okay, and then that's the that's the minimum that I enter. So I enter the name of the stamp set or the name of the item, um, the category, which is stamp and die set, the tags, um, the where I have it stored, and then the manufacturer. Okay, and then I say add item. And then I go to add another item. And then as I'm doing this, I do it pretty fast because I'm really used to it now. I just kind of boom, boom, boom and get them inventoried. So then now I'm going to go to that camera icon again. And I'm going to go to my next product image, which is right here. You are sublime. And I'm going to go ahead and click that product image and all the inspiration that I saved from the Internet. I'm going to say done. And then you'll notice that all the, the dandy day information is still here. So that is really helpful because it helps speed along the process. Now I am going to change the name because now we're talking about you are sublime. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to say you are sublime. And it's still a stamp and die set. So I can go ahead and leave that there. It's still under critters. So I can leave that there. And it's still lawn fawn. So I can leave that there. So I like that it automatically populates based on your last record. Um, that's really helpful to help things speed along, but I do need to add the tags. So then I go to, I, I look at it physically and there is um, a deep diver <laughs> or diver, or I'll say dive. Um, there is a whale, a fish, a goldfish, um, a lobster, <laughs> an eel, um, there is coral, seaweed, um, there's a submarine, there are hearts, bubbles, there are bubbles and I also consider them circles in case I ever need circles. Um, let me see, there's a rock, um, and then um, the sentiments, one says thanks. So I'll put that, uh, um, let's see, love, 
uh, let's see, birthday, um, sublime. And this is an this is also a Copic uh, friendly stamp set. So I'm going to write that as well so I can tag that. And then I'm going to say add item and then I'm going to add another item. And you're going to see that the you are sublime information is still there because it'll use the last record. Now, if I had clicked done instead of add another item, it would have cleared that out. So it's just when you're on a roll and you're continuously adding new items. So then I would go to the next one. I'd click on the camera icon. I'd select the photos, you know, blah, blah, blah. And I'd go on and on and on and on and on until I'm done. Um, so I'm going to go ahead um, and because I just did this for purposes of showing you. I had already entered all this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and delete these before I forget. Okay, so delete that. And then this one I'm also going to delete. Okay. So um, as I was saying, what's really great about this um, um, app is I can search keywords. I can search, you can see here, I can search Gina K Designs. If I want to search um, by manufacturer, um, I can search by season, like I had searched autumn, um, you know, all kinds of different things. Um, stars. Uh, let me see if I type in Copic Friendly. Then these are all stamps, and you can see here, these are all stamps that I can color, okay? So that's um, that's how I do that. I like to put Carpic, Copic Friendly because sometimes I just like to color, and these are all beautiful stamps that I can color, <laughs> okay? All right, so um, that's what I do. And then once I've done that and added them to the Color My Life app, then I can go ahead and file them away in the category where I said the item was going to be stored. Um, and sometimes, you know, I'll think I'm going to store it somewhere. And then when it comes time to store it, I change my mind. I'm like, no, well, maybe I should put this in this category, you know, um, better. It's more specific. And so I'll go in and I'll edit the file and I will um, make sure that I note in this system um, where I actually stored it. So sometimes I have to go back and change it. Or if I'm working on a card and then I'm realizing that it, the category needs to be changed or the, where it's stored needs to be changed, I'll come in here and I'll change it. I don't just move it from one category to another. I always make sure I change it in here because I want to make sure I can always locate it. So, um, so yeah, so that's what I do. Um, it seems tedious, but um, once you get in the swing of things and once you know what you're doing and really the tips that I provided, like um, sorting uh, your purchases by the manufacturer just to kind of make things go smoothly and faster. There are some shortcuts to really speed up the process of inventorying your stash. Um, it's, it's, it's not that I, I don't consider it tedious. You know, it's almost like I look forward to it sometimes. And then sometimes I'm like, okay, no more shopping. That's enough putting things into the inventory and having to uh, get out my label maker and repackage them for storage and things like that. Sometimes I do very rarely, but sometimes I do think I need to stop buying stamps and dies so I don't have to do this process. <laughs> but for the most part, I really do enjoy it. That's why there's over a thousand items here in this database. So um, that is that. That is my overview of how I um, store and inventory my stamps, dies, stencils, and uh, what are they called? Embossing folders. And so um, I did want to note, though, the reason why I don't put my Copic markers in here or my like Distress Oxide inks or like anything like that is because um, the Distress Oxide inks or even a Copic marker, like it doesn't have various subjects. Um, it doesn't contain like various subjects the way stamps do. Like, you know, um, if I'm looking for brown ink, I just have to look through my inks and I can see the browns, even if I look through like a swatch book, for example. But I like to inventory things in this application that I can tag, where I have like, I can put a whole bunch of tags and it just helps me narrow down a subject very quickly. So for Copic markers, um, I use another app. Actually, I use the app by Copic to just uh, document which markers I have so I don't buy duplicates. And that's the extent of that. I don't go through tagging, you know, like, okay, it's purple. Like, I guess that's the most I could tag, right? If it's purple, it's purple. <laughs> so I don't need to like filter through that. 
I, I hope that makes sense. So um, there are people who absolutely inventory their inks and their glitters and their embossing powders. And there's a whole bunch of categories within this app for crafters. And you can absolutely inventory all of those. Um, I just, you know, wanted to reiterate that I, the way I use this is just to be able to filter and search my stamps for specific subjects. So I hope that helps you. I hope that encourages you to be organized and to inventory your stash. Um, and another cool thing is if I need to downsize or if I want to sell part of my stash, this just makes it so much easier because all the pictures are here and I can just put them up on Facebook or whatever. You know, just it just makes things easier, nice and organized. All right. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for joining. And if you found this video helpful, please um, consider a thumbs up and a subscribe. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks.